Top Shop Nights, which is a very interesting behind the scenes episode. Today's episode is going to be about visual merchandising. It's a fashion industry term and not a lot of people really know what it means. Well, it's basically about store display and layout, where you put what you put in. It sounds really boring, but I promise you it's actually really interesting. And after this episode, you'll never walk into the store and look at it the same way again. We came with Top Shop's visual merchandiser, Cecilia So. This is the front of the store, so how do you decide what goes in front? In terms of the storefront, we will always place the more commercial items, the fashionable items. And right here, you can see that there's a mannequin. We will always try to dress the mannequin to the latest fashion so that when customers, they come in, they'll be very attracted to buy the products that are on the mannequin. How do you decide these specific pieces? Like, this is actually like a toga-like dress. So, is toga-like dresses in for the latest season? Yeah, for right now, it is. So, for example, for each fixture, we'll try to make an outfit building. So, for example, you have this and you can wear it with this. Mm. And so every fixture, the items that we place on it, there's a thought process and it has to make sense to the customers. How do you decide what goes on the mannequin out of the hundreds and hundreds of outfits that you have in Topshop? The products have to be near this mannequin so that when customers, they see the skirt, they see the top and they want to get it, you can just go to the nearby fixture and they know that it's there. So all these outfits, they are styled by our in-house stylists mm -hmm. and they'll be changed about weekly. So this is the first corner that I'll notice when I walk into the store. So Cecilia, take us through this corner. Okay, just to let you have a brief background, okay. So every year, there are four seasons in Topshop. So every season, the, the trends will evolve and will change. So right now, for spring, summer, we have this first trend called Art House. What you can see here, very clean lines, very symmetrical. You have geometry print, you have bright colours. Um, colour blocking. The reason why we place this here because we identify it as the most commercial trend for this season. So for the most prominent corner, you've got to pick the trend that's the most commercial? Yeah, that's correct. For each trend, we have a different creative treatment. For example, this wall, you have the checkerboard vinyl. This will change seasonally. You also update the colours of the wall seasonally. So you paint the walls every season? Yeah, we do. I noticed that there are a lot of colours over here. Are there any general rules when it comes to different seasons? So usually spring, summer, what happens is that we have more colours. And autumn, so we will have darker colours, we have like khaki, we have burgundy. And in terms of silhouettes, they are different as well. For spring, summer, they are usually lightweight fabrics. For autumn, winter, it's usually heavier textiles and the print will look a little different as well. So welcome to the Comic Girl trend. This area, you have a lot of bright colours, they are very spunky, very young, very athletic. It's a very spontaneous kind of dressing. One very key part of this trend is all the crop tops. So you have all the very short silhouettes, polka dots everywhere. So this trend is it's supposed to be very fun and very edgy. I noticed that there are lots of like you know college varsity influences in all the clothing. Yeah, this trend is very collegiate inspired. So you have items that are very wearable for school. So when you come to the first floor of Knightsbridge, you have an area that's very fun and edgy. And the other side, you have more sophisticated, more elegant, so that we appeal to two different kinds of customers. So when we come down to basement, this is another trend area. This is called the 21st Century Debutante. So what you have here is um, very feminine pieces. Just imagine like a lady making her first debut when she's 21. For this area, what we have are very girly pieces. We have a floral denim and also a crochet top. So this trend is not just about being feminine, but there's also a boyish age to it. If you look at this mannequin here, you have a yellow dress, but underneath it is layered with a chiffon blouse. And with this cut out detailing, you can see the lace. So this trend is a lot about layering. And I noticed that even the layers are all like very thin layers, so it won't be too warm. Yeah, yeah. correct. Yeah. Because it's spring summer right now, so the focus is that it will not be too humid for us to wear in Singapore. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, whatever that we do in visual merchandising, we always try to link it back to the customers to make sure that it's relevant enough for them to wear. So this is a very interesting area in Knightsbridge. We have a collaboration with a British designer called J.W. Anderson. So if you look down, this is basically what he designed and it was also shown in Fashion Week. How does Topshop pick which designer to collaborate with? In Topshop UK, usually what they do is that they collaborate with indie British designers. They like to support young designers, designers who are aspiring to make it big. So why is the collaboration down here and not up there? And is it like that for most collaborations? The reason why we place our JW collection below Low is because it doesn't cater to the mass crowd and not everyone who comes in Topshop wants to get a piece of JWA. So we place it right basement so that it's um, in line with our unique collection. Alright, this is our unique collection. We receive two capsules every year for spring, summer and for autumn, winter. What are capsules? Capsules are like mini collections. For this unique collection, you realise that the items are different from autumn, winter. So you have um, splashes of lemon, the colours are lighter, the fabrics they are lighter as well. So they are more flowy and more lightweight. Every season or every design collaboration receives styling guide from UK. So for this row of mannequins, uh, it's dressed according to what we receive and how we interpret it 
and we adapt it to Singapore. So for example, this mannequin, we actually place the jacket and the trousers together because right now quads, they are very trendy. So even though the items, they look like it's a lot of layering, but the, the fabrics are lightweight, so it's very wearable for Singapore. This section is Rave New World. It's inspired by a 90s rave and grunge culture. For example, if you look at this top, you have starts, and then you have the slogan, Leave for Love, which is very, very hippie. Like hippie. <laughs> yes, and then you have the tie-dye effect. Another example would be this skirt, the asymmetry, and also an X stack. So another example would be this. In the past season, we had a lot of parka jackets. So in spring summer, what we update the look is with a Moroccan knit hoodie. So another key detail of this trend would be the holographic print. You have the 3D look-alike print on the t-shirts. Another item I want to show you is this shorts. So animal motif is a very interesting take off for this trend. Apart from this, you have the frayed ends as well as the studs. So what will you pair your cat shorts with? So this is visual merchandising. So when we place the shorts here, we always place items that can be worn or mixed and matched nearby. So for example, I could wear it with this pullover and also with this flannel shirt. And then you can have like the collar that is peekaboo together with the shorts. It's really cute. So we've come to the end of the episode. Personally, I didn't know that visual merchandising actually plays such a big role in like my shopping experience. Like for instance, I didn't know that I can actually pair this top with like the surrounding pieces. And for me, it's more of like as a customer who always taken for granted the interior decor of the store. I've never realised it actually changes according to season. But now that I do, it just makes a world of difference. So the next time you go shopping, do take note of all these little details and you know, just know that there are lots of people working really hard behind the scenes to make your shopping experience a really good one. So we hope you enjoyed this episode as much as we've enjoyed filming it. So see you next time. Bye.